This webinar is hosted by the International Renewable Energy Agency. The webinar is for project applicants interested in applying for funding to the IRENA Abu Dhabi Fund for Development project facility. In this presentation, we will first cover what the facility is and eligibility, and then what is the funding offer and how the projects are evaluated and selected, and particularly how to apply. What is the facility? The facility was formed as a result of a close partnership between the International Renewable Energy Agency and the Abu Dhabi Fund for Development, born from the commitment of the United Arab Emirates to allocate $350 million in concessional funding through ADFD over seven annual cycles to renewable energy projects in developing countries that are recommended by IRENA. Eligibility. Which entities are eligible? Projects must be submitted from countries that are members of IRENA, signatories of the IRENA statute or states in accession, and they must also be on the DAC list of ODA recipients. The fundamental requirements are that there be a government guarantee provided, that the projects be economically viable, and that they have positive development impact. The projects also need to be renewable energy projects as per the IRENA statute. Note that all uh, government entities, NGOs, semi-governmental organizations, private organizations, companies can apply, but the host country government where the renewable energy is taking place, where the project is taking place, must be prepared to sign a loan guarantee agreement following select, successful selection by ADFD. So the funding offer, $50 million is provided in each annual cycle, and $5 million US dollars is the minimum loan for each project, $15 million is the maximum, and this is to cover up to 50% of the project costs. The remainder must be co-financed. Loan rates of 1% for low-income countries on the OECD DAC list are offered, and 2% for middle-income countries on the OECD DAC list. And this is for a 20-year loan period, including a five-year grace period. Again, just as a reminder, the proposed project must be a national development priority project of the host country and also provide a government guarantee letter. The explanation from the ADFD is that these are sovereign loans and it's a mandatory requirement. The fifth funding cycle opened on 11th November 2016 to receive executive projects sum summary submissions. And here we try to explain the timeline process. The deadline to receive these submissions is 15th February 2017. And if the project is shortlisted halfway through the year, a full project proposal would need to be submitted from early May to end of June 2017. The full project proposal needs to be accompanied with a full feasibility study, as well as a government guarantee letter by then. ADFD make the final selection of projects from IRENA's recommended list, and applicants will know if they have been selected for funding in December 2017. Here, there's an overall schematic of the evaluation criteria used by the experts and the overall strategic decisions of the advisory committee that recommend the projects to the Abu Dhabi Fund for Development. Here, you'll see that fundamentally, at the executive project summary stage, projects are evaluated on their overall technical feasibility, economic and commercial sustainability, as well as potential socioeconomic and environmental benefits. At the full project proposal stage, a full feasibility study is required. How to apply and going through the website, this is what we're going to explain right now. Before starting your application for ADFD funding, you can complete the self-eligibility check, which can be found on the website. And here, there is a list of countries that are both those which are on the IRENA membership list and who are also on the OECD DAC list of ODA recipients. You can also find out uh, and make sure that you 
are applying for five to fifteen million dollars covering up to fifty percent of the project costs and then there's also the question on whether it's a renewable energy project as a reminder here if you are eligible to apply for funding then please register on our website and you'll receive a login and we'll now show you a quick demo of the uh, online process to apply. So once you get your username and password, you type in your uh, details to log in and you'll be able to get into a dashboard and in this dashboard you'll see the uh, details of uh, the um, guidelines for applicants as well as the expert considerations and your timeline to get through the process. When you're ready to start your application you can go to the My Projects uh, part of the tab and you'll see it says create online project. You, and once you've submitted several projects there, and you can submit several, you'll see them listed here. But at the moment, you're starting a new, so you create your online project. Click here, and you'll see the four uh, tabs that you need to uh, fill in. So when you open them, please do uh, and in input your data. Please save and continue as you go along. At the top right of the page, you'll see two buttons where you have expert considerations by the panel and the submission instructions. We recommend you read the submission instructions carefully and also download the expert considerations document and use this as a guide when filling out the application form as it gives you an idea of exactly how your project will be evaluated. And Finally, as a reminder, the deadline to receive executive project summaries is 15th February 2017. And uh, you would need to submit the application by then on this fourth tab. In this fourth tab, you have the opportunity to submit additional documents as well. And this could include your government guarantee letter or any further details, pictures, etc. to support the three main parts of your application, which include looking at and providing technical merit, technical feasibility information, economic viability and socioeconomic environmental benefits. If you have any questions about the application process, please do email us at adfd at irena.org. And that's available on our website. So again, contact us at adfd at arena.org. Thank you for listening.